baseball from the Lone Star State, an AL West matchup on the show. It's Oklahoma City and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 Texas Rangers. Coming up on the first pitch, and starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Luis Barrera now at the plate. Barrera having a really nice first season in the big leagues. Definitely a rookie of the year candidate. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. And that's how this series begins. First pitch, 707. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he left that change up up, got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. The one two and a foul ball he stays alive here's a one two stays alive. One two now. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Way inside gets out of the way. To the right side. One out in the top of the first. Okay, let's check out the lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Elliot Ramos. And Boog, you know he's happy seeing a righty out there on the mound in this one. I mean, over 300 against righties on the year. So definitely you expect him to try to tack on a few more points of batting average with a couple of hits. Should be a good matchup for him in this one. Elliot Ramos stands in now, looks at that one inside. The 1 0. And there's a foul ball. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a miss. And it's 1 and 2. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Righty delivers. Out to short. Seeger collects it. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Sometimes early errors can be just as costly as errors made late in the ball game, but you just don't know it at the time. Second batter of the game gets on base for free, bringing up the number three hitter. So we'll see if they can take advantage right here. So the throwing error puts a runner at first. Eddie Alvarez, the next to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. McKinney settles underneath it, hauls it in two away. Batting four, the third baseman, Josh Young. Here's Josh Young. 
Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into, oh, this one high and deep, way back there. Out of here. A two-run homer, his seventh home run of the season. It's 2-0. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. And now the rookie second baseman, Forrest Wall. That is big. The second baseman, Forrest. And that one fouled off. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217, and the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Bounced out to short. They take the force out, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Bottom of the first. And starting this one, Paul Blackburn having a pretty ridiculous season so far, singing. Yeah, it was nails last time out, worked deep into the ball game, racked up double-digit strikeouts. We'll see if he can repeat that performance in this one. Bottom of the first, and now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. And the 1-0. Now one and one. And the pitch on the ground throws the first one gone bottom half of the first and now we take a look at the Rangers lineup the challenge for him today singing elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Kicks and fires. And a big swing and a miss. two strikes. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there are two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Seeger. So now it's Corey Seeger. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Barrera makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They trail things here, 2-0.
back here at the ballpark. Second inning, set to go. And here's the rookie catcher, Jordan Procession. DeGrom back to work. That's through there for a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 2 now. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Garcia should have this one. And it's caught for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The left fielder, Harry. So digging in, Harry Ford. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Low makes the grab, and there's two down. Batting done. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the rookie DH, Henry Davis. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. This strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. 0 oh and 2 as he waves at that one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Back to the mound. Gets it to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Here is Marcus Simeon hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Blackburn, he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around by walking guys. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course that of the game, good. though. The right Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's back there. And forget it. Adolis Garcia blasts one out. Home run number 15 on the year. And they slice into the lead. It's 2-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's Steven Piscotti. Batting six. The designated hitter. And he's got to get ahead early in the count and then be able to mix up his speeds, add and subtract some velocity, but command is the big key. Throwing the ball where he wants to. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. One and two here. And a ball evens the count. Next offering is down low. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two down. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. 
Philly. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0 2. And now one and two. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The Rangers edge closer on this solo homer. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Barrera. The right fielder, Luis. And the first offering is not close. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. The one two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now battle. The center fielder. Here's Elliot Ramos. Struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia makes the catch, and there's one down. So up next, Eddie Alvarez. In the air, out to center, Thompson under this one. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Josh Young. Man at first, here's the third baseman, Josh Young. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Foul ball. Out towards right center field, Garcia sizes this one up, flashes the leather on the running catch, and that's the third out. Welcome back. Here's Manny Pena. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind to kick the pitch. Stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Here's a one two. And that one fouled off. Foul ball there. 
This is something else. Running that pitch count off, I can't imagine how frustrating it must be for the pitcher to have so many good pitches spoiled off like this. In the air, out towards right center. And it gets by him. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Here's Bubba Thompson. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll get down for a hit. They get it in quickly, so it'll be nobody out with runners at the corners. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And a count one and two. On the ground, could be two. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Two on, one out. Now the number two hitter, Ezekiel Duran. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That one's in there on one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Here's a 1-1. One -one. He swings and fouls one off. Pena on third. Thompson over at first with one away. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Stays alive. And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That's back there. Turning and looking and it's gone. Home run number five on the season. And that gives him a lead. It's 4-2. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Now it's Corey Seager having a huge season. Comes into the day leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. and Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Here comes the pitch. Gonna count one and two. Kicks and deals. Got him. And the inning is over. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three run homer. It's now 4 2. Start of the fourth. Now, Forrest Wall. Yeah, the right hater back to work. The second base. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone.
ground ball to the right side. Over to low. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Shea Langoliers. And he grounds one back up the middle. Simeon, toss over to first. And a couple of quick outs. And here's the catcher, Jordan Procession. Now a screamer into the outfield. Garcia makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. And fouled off. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Right hander kicks, deals. Fought off foul. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Now it's going to be Steven Piscotti. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a foul ball. He'll one. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And that one lifted in the air off the bat of Piscotti. Two down. The now the left fielder, Billy McKinney. Billy McKinney. And first offering is fouled off. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. DeGrom back to work. And ball one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Then there's one down. And next is the designated hitter, Henry Davis. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And first offering is fouled off. Base knock center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Luis Barrera will hit next. Fly ball to right. Garcia has this one sized up. He's got it, and there's two away. Elliot Ramos getting ready to hit. Elliot. Ripped on a line. And no one can get there. Around third. Seeger with a relay throw. Head first slide safe at the plate. 
And they trail by one. And it's scoring position with two away. And here is Eddie Alvarez. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And he'll one. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. As a run scores on the play, and that ties the game. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Man at second here with two away, and now Josh Young. The other way. Only play is at first on the throw from shallow right. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Manny Pena. And here comes. That's in there. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Next offering is fouled back. Tied at four. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page now right now. Center fielder, Bubba Thompson. Now here is Bubba Thompson. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there for strike one. Now fly ball to right center. Barrera in position. Pulls it down and there's two gone. So the batting order turns over. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score remains tied at four. And welcome back, top six. Here's the second baseman, Forrest Wall. The second baseman, Forrest. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Bullpen action for the Rangers, Nick Snyder, the young right-hander up and throwing. Barlow warming up as well on the ground the first and that squirts through man aboard on the leadoff single 
always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And the Rangers manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. That'll be it for Jacob DeGrom. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Glenn Otto gets the ball now. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Hauls it in for the out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jordan Procession. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Next offering in the dirt, and the count is one and two. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. Two gone now. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. There's a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Wall leads off first with two down to the inning. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch stays alive. The one two turned on, but foul wide of third. That one lifted to left. McKinney gets under it. And that is that. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. And we are tied 4-4. Bottom of the sixth inning. And stepping in is the speedy Ezekiel Duran. Phoenix Sanders on to pitch here. He last pitched two days ago. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Up the middle, Wall collects. One away, bottom of the sixth. Seeger stands in now. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Man at first with one gone, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Marcus Simeon. Out to center. Ramos racing over to make the catch. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. In there, and it's 0-1. 
Ball one there. Kicks and fires. So now one and two. One and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the inning is top of inning number seven. And now Henry Davis. Otto back to work. Out towards right center field. Garcia makes his way towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Pereira. Hit weakly on the ground. And it goes just foul. Next pitch misses way outside. At the belt and fires. Ball, that's off the plate. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Can't get their base hit. Around first, heading for two. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the... Meanwhile, this is trouble as that's going to be extra bases. Runner from second crosses the play. And it's now 5-4. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. One down. And now the shortstop, Eddie Alvarez. For the fourth time tonight. Tapped softly on the ground gathers and throws to first and that is out number two well he didn't recognize change up earlier enough got out in front a little bit rolled over on it and beat it into the ground now the third baseman Josh Young and it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate yeah Boog a two run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark so if you showed up late to this one you missed out on a big moment early on Oh, he gloves it. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Rangers DH, Stephen Piscotti. And first hitter. offering is fouled he off. The wind in the pitch. That one to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. McKinnon in the box now. No balls and a strike. The tying run at the plate. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. 
Manny Pena digs in now. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Thompson in the box again, takes a strike. I got one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One -one. That to right. Barrera makes the catch, and that'll do it. Right. Welcome back. And now here is Forrest Wall. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Next to hit, Shea Langoliers. That's a laser base hit. Run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. On the mound now, Joe Barlow. He's pitching on two days rest. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss. Langoliers leads off second with nobody out. Left field. McKinney makes the play, and there's one away. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Harry Ford. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And first offering is fouled off. One out and a runner at second. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Nick Snyder up and loosening in the pen. Going to now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes two out. It becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow... Now this ball is down and could score a run. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Nathaniel Lowe. There's a strike. Liner caught it second. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. But why to kick the pitch? Lifted in the air, right center field. Barrera makes the catch. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Corey Seager stepping in for the Rangers. Right side, and there's a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Two outs. On the ground to third. Knocks it down to the hole. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. 
So first and second with two outs. And now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, one down. Next offering misses down and away. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Seeger, the lead runner at second. Simeon at first, two out of the inning. Stays alive. Got him! That's the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, John King. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. And the lefty with the 0-1. And that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Now the 0-1. And a foul ball. King throws to first, and he's back safely. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Next to hit, Eddie Alvarez. A switch hitter batting right. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And that one is lifted in the air. Grabs it on the run. Two away. First offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Hard hit to third. Out number three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the ninth. And now Steven Piscotti, Yoan Duran into the game. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Here comes a pitch. He was late there, strike one. Duran, he's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations, those high leverage spots. It seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously, the ability to get the strikeout factors in. This one in the air right field. Barrera settles underneath it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate, and they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. Ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Here's the catcher, Manny Pena. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Young drifts towards it. Two away down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. 
Thompson. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And that one fouled off. The mental approach is a big factor too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just... And that is the ball game. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pen. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambu. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah.